Are you sick and tired of gambling your hard earned money on Madden packs? Look no further than my sponsor, MMO EXP, for the cheapest and most reliable muck coins on the market. And don't forget to use code FURDY at checkout for 5% off. What's going on, guys? Today we have I Rate Your Teams episode number two, of course, the series where you send me your teams and I rate them. And of course, if you want a chance to be a part of episode number three, make sure you're following me on Twitter and I will post this tweet, this exact tweet. The only difference is going to be instead of it saying two, it'll say three on Friday, next Friday. And just all you got to do is reply, follow these steps and reply with a high quality picture of your team. And also shout out to everyone who showed love and support on the last video. Um, this series is always amazing. I always have so much fun recording these videos, but uh, yeah, let's just get started. Okay. Our first team of the day comes from my man, Zeke with the super greasy camera. All you would need is just to like literally clean it with like a shirt or something. You know what I mean? Like it's all he would have to do but um instead he sent me this picture right so um here we go this team's gonna be very good this team will probably end up being um keep in mind he did send this on friday so honestly as far as friday standards go this was probably actually i can't stingley i mean you could do better than can you do better than Sting? yeah you can definitely do better than stingley right now like Tariq woolen guys like that for example so i'm gonna give you like a mid nine honestly like a mid, like a nine five um nine four which is actually might be one of the highest ratings we've given out this year so far um because Derek Stanley, even though he's an 80 overall he still has good speed he's got brands he's got sherman he's got jc horn um pass rush he probably uses curse smith sap and maybe maybe he uses the marcus Ware. i'm not really too sure else who else he's using but um yeah i'm gonna give this team at a hot like, like a mid nine mid to low nine for zeke's team and not much you can really do besides i guess you know just get the new legends that came out today that's warren moon cam chancellor and um, whether you want to play cam chancellor over the top or whether you want to use her his card is up to you but i think just having him on your team and you need to have him at six foot three um next up we got ben's team okay i've been excited to see ben's team um he's in broncos o single back formations trey y flex brown oh so he's okay so his broncos book a single back uh, oh, oh broncos oh okay hold on i'm getting uh broncos o single back formations and trey y flex browns uh nickel wide 50 browns wait wait hold on. oh yeah full browns okay i was confused there i think i figured it out my reading is definitely brutal um i'm just waiting to have a non war moon quarterback since he's so expensive okay so potentially yeah uh, dtr could definitely get preseason team of the week that'd be a big w for the browns team but yes a full browns team and okay odell beckham amari cooper Nijoku with a solid like they're like, the browns offensive line is really nice that's one thing about their team that's really nice. You don't have to cheat on the offensive line. So you're basically complete there. You have Dearness Johnson. You have CJ Stroud, who, I, yeah, you, you are going to need at least like a Browns quarterback at some point. Uh, with Rondé Barber, you have the brand new Martin Emerson, who's nice. You have Julius Brent, you're probably using your 32 team cam on him, which is smart. Jordan Poyer, not the greatest, but then you, then you have a Grand Del Pit there. So, um, and JOK's here. Demario Davis, I forgot he played for the Browns. I completely forgot about that. Miles Garrett, of course, and then Aiden Hutchinson does get all 32 team cams, so he does fit on any theme team. I'm not gonna lie, with four million coins in the account and a team looking like this, it's looking pretty. And keep in mind, this is plus two speed on all these players. You've 86 speed Odell Beckham Jr. Um, I'm, I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give it like a high eight, honestly, like an eight, 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 nine, maybe even a nine for this team. You could honestly go, but I'm a fan of this team. A couple more Browns upgrades, and this team could potentially be amazing like they definitely have the groundwork and looking at this team makes me think i may have underrated the browns theme team on my theme team tier list video because they're actually kind of looking tough right there and next up we have trev's team uh trev was the first team that we rated last week and he was kind of working his way up let's see where he's at right now um he's got 25 pats 25 hawks hawks oh defense is flexible changes left qbm thinks i'm waiting on the game to give me bryce young okay um levels glitch don't plan on getting jaseki or ocho until redux is to be honest and I have a couple decent cheats and specialists for depth. Okay, so he's got 25 Patriots, 25 Seattle, which is two of the best theme teams in the game right now. It's kind of like a little bit of a budget one because he's got like the lower Fred Taylor, but still Devin Hester is nice. Budget tight end and Noah Fant. And um, yeah, it would be nice if you could throw Ocho or Jusecki in there, but I guess it does make sense. Um, and we should probably get some pretty good Patriots tight ends. I mean, you, you could go get Hunter Henry. Once your coin stack comes back, Hunter Henry is nice in the Patriots team as well. I still think he's like a top three tight end in the game. Um, so hunter henry's nice but um outside of that o-line could use a little bit of help as far as tackles go which is like the most important thing on the line i'm um, waiting for his bryce young he said and then joey blunt richard sherman uh tariq Woney's guy i mean you know the seattle patriots team team is so expensive right now 
So, I mean, if you can if you can construct the chemistries and all you have to do is wait on your coin stack to come up, you're in a good spot. So, he has the team constructed. All he needs now is just the coin to fill it out. And, and obviously today, it doesn't help that the Seattle theme team got Warren Moon and Cam Chancellor. But um, I'm going to give my man Trev, I'm going to give this team a... Um, let's go with a high 7. Let's go with a 7-8 for this team. Um, might be a little bit... No, no, it's better than a 7-8. It's probably like a low 8, like an 8-2. I, I say that because of the offensive line. Um, that's really the main reason why. I mean, Ryan Neal is a whole, Jonathan Jones is a whole. So I'm gonna give it a, I'm gonna give it a low eight. But you know, where, where it's strong, it's strong. Where it's weak, it's weak. That's what I'll say about this team right now. Um, next up, no team cams, all BND players except tight end one and free safety stacking coins for regular season promos. Trying out Eagles offense when using Chiefs defense. I'm in Chiefs defense as well. Um, yeah, I love that book. I love the Chiefs defensive book. Also, I love Patriots offensive book as well. That's what I'm in on, on offense. I know people always ask me. Um, he said he scooped up full Hester and Reed since they're both under 300k. That was an hour ago. So um, he did make some slight upgrades, which were actually big. And this guy is a level 35. He has been grinding. Level 35 with three milli. This is the first DeAndre Hopkins I'm seeing. Um, so shout out to Joshua Cole, man. He's going absolutely crazy on this game right now. Um, but uh, yeah, all BND team, he said. So, you know, I, I pr he probably replaced... He probably replaced Kadarius Tony with Hester. So DeAndre Hopkins outside Apprentice, who's actually still really good right now. Um, you could definitely still use DeAndre Hopkins at a high level and he'll be good. Um, you have Justin Jefferson there. You have B. John Robinson, DeAndre Swift, TJ Stroud, Chigo Z, Monconquo. I love this card so much. Oh my goodness. Might be my favorite card I've used so far this year. On defense, he's got 84 Ed Reed, but he said he bought the full Ed Reed. So he's got full Ed Reed, Trayvon Walker, who I love. Trevor Walker's card's really good. I mean, the best cards to probably use right now if you're not going to be a, a like a like a all money spent um, God Squad team are the 84 headliners right now. I mean, it was the same thing last year. Actually, maybe not the same thing last year, but um, yeah, the 84s this year are actually really good. Some really good like budget ish guys like Watson Love, like like those kind of guys. But even like the first drop of guys, those guys are pretty good too. Um, of course, 88 Ramsey on the team is crazy. He is AJ Terrell there. Eric right, Barry. Okay, good looking squad. I'm gonna give this team. With the Hester and the Ed Reed edition, I'm going to give him a 9-2. No. 9-1. 9-1. Because I thought about no chemistries, although it's not that big of a deal right now. Um, I would definitely look to add maybe 125. And that could be Ravens. I wouldn't hate going Ravens for you. Especially if you just added, if you just added, um, or maybe even Titans low-key. If, if you want to get, say you, say you get Warren Moon. Titans team team when you have DeAndre Hopkins turns pretty scary. I mean on offense. On defense, you're gonna have your hole still. Um oh no, like I mean on the, I mean like for the Titans teams, they don't have anyone good on defense really. Um but on offense, being able to boost DeAndre Hopkins speed, boost Warren Moon speed, boost Chico Zim speed. I mean it seems like because you went and splurged on a tight end, it, it seems to me that you would that you actually use your tight end. So maybe that's a little tip I have for you, but I'm gonna give this team a nine. Um, but when those regular season promos come out, you're, you're going to be, I mean, when you want to spend your coin, you could have a God squad. You like, you could have those crazy teams. I'm a hundred percent. Um, Jam Jam said, unfortunately I cannot this week for it's okay. We do this every single week, every single Sunday for the whole Madden season. Uh, we have locked in here with a 25 out of 50 Ravens team and 25 out of 50 Seattle. Um, Saints on multiple D linebackers don't touch any improvements. Okay. He wants to know improvements. First of all, Beautiful build here, man. Gorgeous build. As someone that builds computers, that is beautiful wire management. Better than any wire management I've done on any of my computers, for sure. But, I mean, I, whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't know. Maybe I should take that back. You guys can't really see what's going on down there. But, um, okay, let's focus here. Ravens, Seattle theme teams, um, which are two of the best right now. I had the I had the Seattle theme team in S+. Plus. I had Ravens in S, so that's a pretty mean, mean duo right there. Um, of course, he has Warren Moon. Kenneth Walker, Mark Andrews on the team. He's got Devin Hester, Zay Flowers, Justin Jefferson. So offensively, not a single hole really at all. I mean, you know, tight end on a theme team, Mark Andrews can definitely play. Amazing, amazing quarterback, you fullback. You know, you're probably using Franco at running back. So even though Kenneth Walker has 84 speed, which is still decent. Um, I, I would imagine they're using Franco at running back. Receivers look good. On defense, I'm expecting something crazy here. Yep. Cam Chancellor, Ed Reed. Those two safeties both getting plus one speed is crazy. And you have Sherman also with plus one speed. Marlon Humphrey with plus one speed. Tariq Golan with plus one speed. Linebackers don't see field. So he must use your Kyle Hamilton who gets plus one speed. Andre Blunt plus one speed. Um, this team, 
this team, it's going to be a nine. Like, like, here's the thing. How could this team not be, I guess this team would be a 10 if you had like Warren Sapp. Um, and uh, that's really it. I mean, outside of that, it's basically perfect. So I'm going to give you a nine, eight, actually, bro. Like outside of, you know, like a couple cards I and mean, you have like the best at each position with plus one speed. So I'll go to the nine, eight, nine, nine. Um, but to make it a 10, I would say Warren Sapp. Go get him. That card's an absolute playmaker. If my team looked like this and I was one piece away like that, I know Sap's kind of expensive and you could wait even wait till Monday. Uh, honestly, I wouldn't wait till buy. I wouldn't wait to buy till Monday because I feel like Monday's drops can be really nice. Just kind of a gut thing I have. Um, then we have Jackson's team. Jackson has been hyping up his full commander steam team, but then doesn't even run a full commander steam. Okay. Either way, still commander steam team. One of my favorites to run every single year. You're able to, you're able to get guys like Champ Bailey. Um, Sean Alexander gets upgrades normally, even Deion Sanders, uh, Sean Taylor. So I like the Washington theme team uh, year in and year out. But we have, uh, of course, Terry McLaurin. Probably not many guys getting used right now besides Cam Curl. Um, he also does have the free Jalen Watson playing him at safety. Although he's good at man-to-man. -man, so unless you're, playing, unless you're playing like a straight man scheme, then playing Jalen Watson at safety doesn't make much sense to me. Because normally, for me at least, safeties are playing over the top, like in zones. So unless you're unless you're putting your free safety in a position to play man to man, then Jalen Watson doesn't make the most sense to me. But outside of that, level 31, so he's been grinding with Jalen Ramsey, Richard Sherman, AJ, AJ Terrell. Um, and okay, I'm gonna give this team, let's give this squad a um Um 30 Washington. It's not boosting. It's only guys really important that's getting any kind of boost is Cameron Curl. And Montez Sweat as well. 86 speed off that edge is actually pretty glitchy, I won't lie. When I think about it, um, Jonathan Allen, though, looks good. I'm going to give this team high eight, eight, seven, eight, six, actually, maybe even an eight, five. Next up, 25 Jets, Jets O, Jets D, Drake better drop soon. Any suggestions? Love you. I love you too, Christopher. And yes, Aubrey, where's the album? Either way, here we go. 25 Jets team, Sauce Gardner, Julius Brent. I don't think he has the Jet Chem on him, but Ed Reed, Sauce Gardner, no Revis, but he, because he chose the Marcus Ware, which is actually kind of crazy. Christopher, I know you're a Jets fan. How could you not pick Darrell Revis? Either way, Devin Hester, Garrett Wilson, Kadarius Toney, um, with Dwayne Brown and Elijah Barrett Tucker. So the Jets team team, right now, they're not that strong. They will get stronger. But yeah, good cheats for sure. Um, Irv Smith, solid. I'm going to give this team about an 8-4. Um, no, it's better than that. It's probably like a, it's probably like an 8-6. Because you have the legends. So I'm going to give it an 8-6. Um, but again... Um, I like, the, I like being able to speed boost some of the legends, right? Or get those boosts on some of the legends. Um, next up, we have the cap guy, Pat's offense. That's what I'm on. Also, the cap guy this year rocking with the Jets theme team. And he's looking dangerous. He's got Warren Moon, Justin Jefferson, Christian Watson, Kadarius, Tony, Isaiah Likely. O-line looks very complete. With uh, Jameer Gibbs at running back, you have Jalen Ramsey, Julius Brandt. He has the free Jalen Watson, Jair Brown, Nolan Smith, Ed Reed. Okay. So he's boosting Ed Reed's speed. Doesn't have Sauce Gardner. Um, he must be a Jets fan because there's really no reason for him to be running the Jets theme team right now. Um, but once the Jets do get upgrades, that'll be really nice for you. Um, but again, right now, I'm blown up right now. But um, hold up. But uh, yeah, I'm going to give this team. I mean, you got you got you definitely have some names out there. They're not getting really speed boost from any kind of theme team besides Ed Reed. But still, I'm going to give this team. Let's give this squad an 8-8. Eight, eight. Even though he has Warren Moon, I'm going to give it an 8-8. Eight, eight. Yeah, I'm going to go with an 8-8. Eight, eight. It's a lot of RPs. Yeah, I'm going to go 8-8 eight, eight for this team. Next up, Patso. Again, another Patso. 4-6-D. Might make a 25 Falcons team when I get AJ. But I'm really just saving coin for when better cards come out. Okay, when did he send this? This was last night? Okay. Um, Kadarius Tony, Wandale Robinson, Christian Watson. Good receivers all over 85 speed or all at 85 speed, I guess. Jameer Gibbs, 85 speed. Bryce Young, Outside of Warren Moon, he's still QB1. Chico Zim, also, like I've been saying this whole video, a dog. Um, next up, JC Horn on defense. Julius Brands, Joey Blunt. Okay, no theme team. Falcons theme team was pretty high up for me um, because they do have Drake London as well as Devin Hester, which will, which will be pretty big for you. And unless, you know, if you don't have Christian Watson, B&D, that would kind of... I mean, if you have Christian Watson, B&D, that would kind of suck for you because... You can't sell him when you get Devin Hester, and you can't sell Kadarius most likely, and you can't sell Wandale most. I mean, you can't sell him at all. So 
that would kind of suck but yeah the falcons theme team is always very good i didn't mention it in the theme team video but Deion sanders played for the falcons eric dickerson mike vick tony gonzalez roddy white even maybe julio cards you know guys like that could get upgraded so um I like the I like the Falcons team. They're always pretty solid. They're pretty underrated. They're pretty middle of the line most years, but you know, Vic's obviously crazy. Um Bijan's gonna get cards throughout this year, I can guarantee you that. But I'm gonna give this team Um, let's give this team no chems. Probably like an eight five. Eight 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 four. Let's go with that. Uh, well, how much more time we got? What we at? We are at six minutes, nine minutes, so we this video should be um at about 15 minutes 15 16 minutes so we still have about four or five minutes to go um patriots playbooks again more patriots playbooks and defenses on saints with okay jordan love debatably qb1 not potentially debatably qb1 hunter henry on the team oh no no sorry wait yeah, yeah okay he's running patriots but also has patriots offense and defense i thought it was wrong okay i would try to get Devin hester i mean sorry ocho cinco however your coin counts a little bit low for that so it's not the end of the world but um, Fred Taylor, Hunter Henry, and there and the, there will be more affordable Patriots receivers. My prediction is, is that we might see a wide receiver, um, Juju Smith-Schuster for UK. We could definitely see that. But Julius Brents, no all team cams. Rebus on the Patriots team. I'm not boosting that many Patriots because you don't have some of the legends besides Fred Taylor, which is is a good boost because Fred Taylor fastest running back still in this game. If you only give him that extra speed boost is obviously a major W. So I'm gonna give this team right here. Met, like it's still a good team even though he doesn't have a lot of good boosts i'm giving it an eight nine nine eight nine nine somewhere in there um okay kind of run a mix of cams jets offense uh and jets three four defense okay sauce gardner revis brents with two x colts cams okay i mean does that make sense i feel like you should give him jets cams oh no oh he's not he's not in, he's not running jet he's not running a jets theme team my bad um i thought he was okay uh, Ed Reed over the top, okay, and then we got Chad, Kadarius, Bijan, Bryce Young, Mingo, Franco, 84, with Darnell Washington in a pretty good offensive line. Okay, I'm going to give this team, the way I look at it, I feel like in these videos, I don't take enough time to sit and truly, you know, just in my silence, you know, and like, look at these teams, I, I feel like, I'm going to give... This is kind of a tough team because he's it's an interesting squad you can see where i'm torn only 82 eric berry as well so it's like honestly if like you're using eric berry as your safety you should take the tokens off of kevin and then you should put them on to eric berry because he's in a way more important position than center um, but nicobe dean's there i'm gonna give this team an eight seven eight six i'm gonna go with that what we got let's do let's do one more team Last, no, we'll do two more teams. This guy's got a hat on his desk, so it, 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 um, it attracted me. But a nice little poster there, a little Chicago, okay, nice little thing there. Some crumbs, maybe get a little, little, little paper towel or something, pick that up. My goodness, okay. All right, okay. Um, Eagles, Pats, oh, Jesus. Okay, Eagles, Pats, oh, multiple D, Eric Berry, and CJ Garner in the box. CJ Garner, Johnson, I've made a Lions, Jets team. He's a monster, bro. If you can get him on any of his teams, Saints, Lions, or Eagles, he's a demon. Um, but we got um, Christian Watson, Zay Flowers, Kadarius Tony, Jameer Gibbs. Um, and then we got uh, Kyle Pitts. O-line, it's, it's an Eagles team. It'll end up being a lot more complete than what it looks like right now. But even he, he doesn't even have Jason Kelsey on it. Um, I, I'd imagine that they're probably, if I remember correctly, they're pretty much full elite on the O-line. So he's, he's using his RPs. That's what he's doing there. Um, wait, oh, he's 33. Oh, yeah, okay. I was making sure I read that right. Um, and then Eagles cams on defense. No one really, but again, Eagles will eat this year. I'm um, having me getting shown much love early, but you know, most teams that make runs get good cards, and the Eagles are, are, are in a position where they could definitely do that. So I'm gonna give this team, um, again, high eight. I feel like a lot of teams are high eights right now because everyone has RPs, um, but eventually it'll get more spaced out because people just have RPs. The good old green line up the middle. This is definitely from someone returning a kick return on him. Um, slam the TV, something like that. I can't tell what kind of hat that is, but I will say any team rate, any team rate picture when I can see the floor, you should reconsider your team picture that you sent me. If I can see the floor and how you have ceiling issues between the floor and the wall, you know, that's not proper. That can't be... 
that can't be a certified wall floor ceiling. That just doesn't look right. It looks like you have some, uh, what's the word I'm thinking of? Moisture in between, you know what I mean? You might get some mold or something like that. Um, either way, okay? Um, is that a carpet, by the way, or is that is that concrete? Either way, doesn't matter. Vertical picture to end it. Um, and keep in mind, bad pictures do warrant d deductions on grades. Um, but let's go. Um, honestly, good looking defense. Good looking offense as well. Again, this team's gonna end up being like a like a high eight. A lot of RPs, a lot of the '84 headliner cards. Not a lot of RPs, but he has one. I guess he has. Wait, he's only Jameer Gibbs. Never mind, I'm wrong. I mean, let me let me reanalyze. Yeah, okay. Sorry, I was getting the RPs because I couldn't really tell. I was getting the RPs confused with the headliners because they kind of look similar. I guess he also has Darnell Washington. Um, but this team might be a little bit lower than that. I'm going to go with a... Um, no, it's really not. No, nah, yeah, it's an 8-6. It's an 8-6 and then bad photo deduction puts him at an 8-3. So, um, yeah. If you didn't make it in today's episode, there's always next week. Obviously, I can't rate everyone's team. But I do appreciate everyone sending in their squads again this week. Again, you guys always show love in this series. Like I said, if you want a chance to be part of the next episode, episode number three... A link for the Twitter down in the description. And uh, as always, I will see you boys in the next one.